Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are just going to discuss about the data set like what we are going to do is like uh, we'll be taking a data set and we're performing some uh, data analysis, some exploration data analysis, some mathematics in the, that data and we'll just come out with an output. So for today I would just tell you that how to like use the data, how to use the libraries and after that we'll be moving towards the different type of scatter plots. Fine, I would be telling you that basically how we make scatter plots, right? So let's get started with the things. And for that, just let me do one thing. Let me just do a little bit of zoom in so that you can just have a proper idea. And that, that is that is too much, right? I just, okay, fine. Now I have just like, it should be visible to everyone of you. Fine, let's get started with the things. So for now, uh, like what I just told that uh, whenever you want to use any library, right? So this is the thing that I'm just telling you all my previous data analysis videos and even in my numpy library videos that whenever we, you want to use any library we basically import that library right now what i would do i would write import and here i would write numpy as np so, so for the ones who are just new for my channel i would let you like to tell you one thing that this is a google collab right this is a service that is a google cloud service which is provided by google and basically here we write our python codes basically what like not python codes i tell the data analysis on the same because like i just like uh, you say i just like uh, it is very good for using that fine you can just uh, have that thing only right so this is a google collab and basically in this i work for data analysis fine so this is a thing that if i just want to use a library what i would do i would supposedly import that library fine so that is import numpy as np Fine, what next, what next, if I just want to use any other library, what I would do, I would write import pandas as pd. Now, what is this pd? pd is basically the library. So pandas is basically a library that is basically, you can numpy and pandas, they both are used for doing the exploration, so like mathematics and all that thing, right? So basically what these do, this, they perform this mathematical things, right? So for that we use numpy and pandas and numpy is just you can say i have written short form for numpy as np and i have written the short form for pandas as pd fine this is done now what is i would just do one thing i would import one more library so that is import i would import one more library that we'll be using for the making the scatter plots that is matplot uh, okay here i would just import a library that is seaborn s-e-a-b-o-r-n seaborn as sns Okay, let's say, let's say uh, I have a one more library that is Seaborn. Now, what is the Seaborn library used for? The Seaborn library is used for doing the exploratory data analysis. EDA in the sense that it is used for doing and making the graphs. Graphs in the sense, scatter plots, bar plots, and bar graphs, and pie chart, box plot, and all that things, fine, line chart. So the Seaborn is used for doing the exploratory data analysis. Now, it, it is the very first video for the I think so for you about this data analysis new uh, data so here i would just import all the libraries that we would be using further also so i would just write import matplotlib dot pyplot dot pyplot dot pyplot as period so basically matplotlib dot pyplot this is also a library only which we basically use for doing that uh, performing the uh, exploratory data analysis that is it is for use for making the graphs and all that right these are the four libraries which we will be using uh, from the, uh, you can say, for this data. Fine. So let me just quickly run that and fine. It that run. Fine. That is done. Now, what is my next step? Next step is that I just want to make a variable, right? I would make a variable in which just I would read my whole data. Now, for reading our data, what we use, we use a library that is pandas. And basically, pandas is the short form I have written p, right? So I would write pd dot okay so basically what we do we use pandas for reading but here we will not be using that thing because uh this is the data which today i would be taking that data is uh it's like, like you can see that data is a part of a library that is the seaborn library so here today i haven't downloaded any data or i haven't haven't taken any any you can say website or any link here what i would do i would just take a data that some of the libraries have the data on their own. Fine. So I would just take that data for today so that if you have any, like, you do not face any issue while downloadation or something like that. Fine. I would write ns, sns dot, dot. I would write load underscore data set. Fine. And in this bracket, I would write 
uh, tips is one of the data sets that the Seaborn library is also already containing. Fine. So what I have written, I have written t is equal to sns dot load data set, and in bracket I have written tips. So basically, this is the line from where we will be loading our data and we'll be using this data. Now I just want to check that what my what are the rows in my data, what are the columns in my data. So what I would do, I would just use a function that is head. Now what does this head do? This head basically prints the top five rows of your column, or sorry, of your data, whatever the top five rows are of your data. It basically prints that. Fine. So whenever just I would, I just want to check that what are what are the columns, what are the things that are in my data. I would just write t dot head. This head is used for printing the top five rows of your column. And let's say in the bracket, if you write some number, like okay, let's let's say write ten. So it will display you the top ten rows. So basically, this head function is used for displaying the top rows. Fine. Now this is my data set, and it contains some columns like total bill. It has total bill. It has tip. It has gender. It has smoker. It has day. It has type, and it has size. Fine. So these are the Uh, you can see columns which my data is containing fine and now here these are the like values and these are the top five and now if i just want to check about the last five so for last five i will, I will use another function that is it uh, that was t right we were just taking t so i would use t dot tail and this tail would print me the last five rows so this my basically this one contains total 243 rows Right, 243 rows. Uh, my data contains 243 rows. Fine. So this is the way for checking that. And if you just want to check the shape, I would write t dot shape, and I would just run that. So it just told me that you have 244 rows and you have seven columns, right? So this is the you can say shape that is 244 rows and it is seven columns. Fine. What next? I have. I have. Uh, you can say uh, here I would be plotting my scatter plot, which I like, which is the main motif for today. That I would be using library that is SNS. SNS is the short form for my library that is Seaborn, right? So I would use SNS dot, and here I would use scatter plot. SNS dot scatter plot. Now what else I have? I would write x is equal to, and in brackets I would just write my that name which I just want to be printed in my x axis. Now what were the columns? Columns were total bill tip. Gender, smoker, day, time, and size. Right? These were the columns which my tips data was having. Fine. Right? Tips data was having. Now, if I just want to choose one of them, let's say I would choose total bill, total underscore bill. Let's say I just choose this one. I want that total bill should be displayed on my x-axis. And now, what about the y? I just want that on y, this tip would be there. This tip that is the column that is my tip. This tip column, this tip like should be present that side. Fine. Right? So I just wrote tip there. Now what else I have? I here I need to write the data. Here I need to write the data. D A T A data is equal to T. I here I need to write the data that is equal to T. And uh, that T what is this T? This is the T in which I am storing my uh, read. I am reading my data and I am storing my data, right? So this is my T. So basically here what I am doing, I am just writing S N S dot scatter plot. So basically, this is the scatter. This is the use of Seaborn library that is SNS. So this is I have just given my shortcut, right? The SNS is a short form, a short form for writing my Seaborn library. Now what else? What else I have here is scatter plot. So basically, scatter plot is is used for making. Ah, uh, you can see here I want to make this scatter plot. So what I would do? I would write this scatter plot. Fine. Now here what is written? I uh, I have taken a variable. That is x, right? In x, what I have stored, I have stored the total bill, and I have taken another uh, variable that is y, and I have stored at the tip. Now on my x-axis, I want total bill to be printed, and on y, I want this tip to be printed. What else I have? I have just taken my data, and data is equal to t. So basically, t, t is my that variable in which I have stored my data. Now when I would just run this, see, I got a scatter plot here. Now this is how a scatter plot looks like. Fine, this is how a scatter plot looks. So here, what I have done, I have plotted between tip and total bill. I just want to see that what is the ratio and what is the uh, proportion for the total bill and tip, right? So I just plotted this scatter plot. I hope you got the idea about scatter plot. Now let's say I have to do some more things. Let's say I would just take t, right? Now I would just perform some. Things here. Let's say I just want to find that that what is the fraction for tip. 
okay so uh, basically frac ti and here let's say i just want to find the tiff fraction what i would do i would write t in that t is my variable in which my data is basically read and this tiff fraction right what i would just write t and here i would write t in bracket i would write my function that is tiff the sorry that, that my, the name of my column that is tiff i would just do this here i would write t and in bracket i would write total bill i just want to find the fraction for the tips right so i would just write total bill and now when i would run this it will just basically run and now when i would just want to find out uh, i would just run my uh, you can say head i would write h e a d and here brackets now see i would be getting one more call it uh, like um, one more column added that is tip fraction and basically in tip fraction i would be having the values like the the values for which the tip is divided by total bill so when tip is divided by total bill whatever are the outputs for each and every row that are stored in this tip fraction right so this is the way for making a new column in your data set if you just want to make a new column in your data set this is the way how we do that fine this is done now some more features about the scatter plot so just quickly let me write s in this dot scatter s c a scatter plot and in bracket let's see now i want to just write x is equal to will be that is the same now what else i want to write i want to write y is equal to now i just want to print the tip fraction tip fraction fine f r a c t i o n fine so tip fraction is like uh, one of my columns which i have just recently added it here fine and now what i would do i would write data is equal to t so t is the variable in which my basic data is right so now now just have a quick look over this is scatter plot right so what are you just like seeing that the tip fraction is like almost between 0.1 to 0.3 3 it is almost between that but some of these are 0.7 some of them 0.4 this also the but mean majority is between 0.1 to 0.3 fine and for total bill it is between 10 to 30 fine so basically this is how we make a scatter plot right in so this is the way for making your scatter plot now scatter plot has even some more functions in it now one more thing one more function is basically here and that is function is known as hue h u e now what does this basically use for let's quickly see that thing also so i would write s in this dot scatter s a scatter plot right in bracket i would write x is equal to let's say i would write my total bill total underscore bill fine let's say in y i just want to print tip now here i i would write my data is equal to t fine next and the last thing i would write h u is equal to and now i just want to check i think that it at what time what is the like basic uh, that about the uh, what is the basic fraction of the tip and the total bill fine now see what it is showing me it is showing me two different colors that are orange and blue and like i hope you just can see this graph that is presented that is time and your lunch and dinner so basically this yellow one and you can say even it is orange this orange one is demonstrating the dinner right and this blue one is demonstrating the lunch fine so this is basically how you can add one more function that is you this is one more property of the scatter plots and yeah here i just like you just got the point how we make a scatter plot and basically how we uh, load a you can say load a data and what are the li libraries needed now further what we'll be seeing we'll be seeing many more plots basically in this uh tips data set only fine further we will be discussing many of these so for now just let me give you an overview about the today's video so it is like uh, i would just import in my libraries which i would be using so that are numpy pandas cborn and matplotlib.py plot and after this as whatever i have written that are the short forms right next what i have done i have written t is equal to t is one of my variable in which basically i have taken and what i have done i have used sns so before the uh, the previous uh, data which i have taken that was google data set in that i have taken pdy because i was having that data in my device only but this is a data which like this library is containing that is cborn so if any library contains any data set so basically we need to use this that library short form that is t is equal to sns dot load underscore data set and here we have tips right what else here i have t dot head so basically head is used to print top five tail is used to print the lower five rows then i just need to check that what are the shape basically rows and columns so i just wrote t dot shape now next i have that i need to print that i need to see what are the scatter plot i want to make a scatter plot 
pen to it is sns dot scatter plot x is equal to total bill y tip and data is equal to t right so this is this was the thing and now if you just want to add one more column in your data what you do basically we make one more column something like this we write the name that variable name that is t and after that in the brackets we write that column name which we want to make and we write that the values which we want to store fine so this is done and after that we, this is the way for uh, like uh, writing the hue function also in the scatter plot so now i hope you just got the all points about the today's video whatever we have discussed and this was the basic that how we make a scatter plot i hope you got all the points if you have any doubts you can ask that doubts in the comment box or you can even rewatch the video so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye